What is up guys, it's Nona with Damic here, and today I will be bringing you some Strike Zone gameplay. It's a team deathmatch and I end up getting 35 kills, something like that. So it's a pretty good gameplay, not too great on the death sides of things. But anyway guys, moving on, I am going to speak about my favourite TV show today. The instrumental I have used in this video kind of reminds me of one of my favourite shows ever, Six Feet Under. The ending of that is crazy and that ending has this instrumental kind of, so that is why I had the idea to do this commentary and I hope you guys can get some ideas of what video shows to watch and also give me some TV shows to watch in return. Please before I start do not spoil any shows that you recommend or that I recommend simply because I know you guys will respect my wishes and honestly there's no point whatsoever in spoiling people's TV shows. It's a way to entertain myself, entertain yourself, and for that, like I said, there is definitely no point. But moving on, I'm going to speak about around 10 shows that I enjoy very much, and as my 10 favourite shows. At the moment I'm watching Sopranos, I'm on episode 4, season 4 I believe, and it's amazing, it's one of my favourite, if not my favourite show as of yet. And I'm definitely having a great time watching it. But anyway guys, let's speak about The Sopranos first off, since I'm also currently watching it. The Sopranos, at the moment, like I said, is probably one of my favourite shows, if not my favourite show I have watched as of yet. And I have watched some of the best, if not the best TV shows ever made. I'm talking about Breaking Bad, The Wire, Dexter, all those type of shows. And The Sopranos so far is very, very good. The main reasons why I enjoy it is because it gives you an insight to the Mafia boss's family. And not only that, but it shows you his surroundings and how that affects him. That's something that makes TV shows very enjoyable to watch for me. If they give a high detail to the surroundings and their families, stuff like that is very interesting for me, and I'm sure it is to you guys. The same works with Daxter, it shows you how his family is affected. Um, I can't really say too much about that because it will spoil it. I'm trying not to spoil anything with this little discussion. But keeping on talking about The Sopranos, like I said, it shows you how he had affects him, his surroundings and stuff, and how his family problems also affect him. And he also goes to a psychiatrist and talks about his problems. So that right there is a new twist to a TV show I have never seen before. And I know The Sopranos is pretty old, but I've only begun watching it. And around a week I have put down three seasons. I'm really hooked on it guys, and that is why I haven't been playing Call of Duty Go so much. I've played around maybe 20 hours. And usually in the older Call of Duties, going back from Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops 1, all those type of good Call of Duties. I was putting in 7 days within the first month, 7 days playtime, and I was just playing it endlessly. But with this, I am definitely having a lot of fun watching The Sopranos, and in the meantime, when I want to get on Call of Duty Ghost to take away the boredom, I just jump on for an hour or two, and I don't strain my eyes too much playing it. But that is all guys about The Sopranos. Moving on, I am going to speak about The Wire. The Wire is one of my favourite shows also. It's based in Baltimore, and it shows you the everyday life of drug dealers and also police officers. How they go undercover and try and spot the drug dealers out and how the drug dealers lives change when many of them go into prison and many of them die, all that kind of good stuff. So definitely give that one a watch, it's one of the best shows ever rated on IMDb and many other rating sites across the internet. Moving on we have Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones is probably my second favourite show ever behind The Sopranos, maybe my first ever favourite show when I watched it. And keep in mind it's also three seasons deep, nothing really too far. But when I watched the third season, I couldn't comprehend what had happened when it ended. It was very sad for months upon months at a time, and I'm not exaggerating guys, it literally took me around three months to get over this. It's a great TV show and everything about it is definitely new and it's fresh. Check it out if you haven't already. Breaking Bad is also a pretty good show, definitely one of my favourites. And I know you guys are probably going to say to me you have a lot of favourites, but like I said at the start, I'm going to be giving you guys my 10 favourite shows. So that is why I'm, I constantly say one of my favourites. <laughs> but anyway, Breaking Bad is definitely a great show. And Walter White is a high school chemistry teacher who is a genius. And when he finds out he has terminal cancer, he begins to sell meth and begins to make it himself. He makes the purest meth in the whole of the United States. And it just shows you some great scenes in the TV show, so check that one out also. Moving on, we have Daxter. Daxter was one of the first TV shows I decided to watch a lot, and that really took my heart out when it ended also. I was completely obsessed with it, I was buying t-shirts, and I was trying to buy posters, all that kind of stuff. It's one of the best TV shows I've watched, and it has a really good twist. It's basically a guy who is obsessed with killing, and he has a need to kill. And when he doesn't kill, he starts to go insane. But the channel that killing urge, he basically goes after the people that have slipped through the cracks and have really got away from the justice system. So he goes after them and does his thing. <laughs> I'm not going to say too much, but definitely give that one a watch also, guys. 
The reason why I don't really like talking about TV shows or movies is because I can't feel the need to spoil it. I don't really like enjoying spoiling shows, as I said at the start, and I'm sure you guys don't also. But take my word for it, these TV shows are some of the best ever created, and that's a fact. Not just that, but many people agree with me, and I'm sure you guys have probably seen a lot of these. So let me know in the comments what do you think of these. Moving on, we have The Walking Dead. The Walking Dead is currently earned, I think it's on the 4th or 5th season. I've watched up to the very last episode that has come out and I'm having a great amount of fun. The only thing I haven't watched is the episode on Sunday so I'm going to check it out after this and then I'm going to jump on and watch some more Sopranos. I really enjoy watching TV show guys and it's, it gives me a break from reality, it allows me to sit back, relax and have a good time and think about a lot of stuff also. Check out The Walking Dead if you haven't already, I'm not going to explain too much about it because I'm sure a lot of you guys have actually seen this or have seen it earn on the, on the television and stuff, have seen the advertisements. But moving on, we are going to speak about Homeland. Homeland is once again a very good show. I was recommended to it by a friend who watches my videos every now and again. His name's Nathan. And once I saw that, I jumped on, checked it out, and I was I was not disappointed. It's basically a guy who comes back from Iraq. He was uh, held captive for over eight years, I believe it is. And when he came back, he was turned by Al Qaeda. So he goes undercover and tries to get news that Al Qaeda tried to set up a lot of bombing events and stuff like that. Give that one a watch also guys, I can't really say too much because there's a pretty good twist at the end of the first season, beginning of the second season I believe, and it's one of the best twists I have seen so check that out also guys. And we have two shows left to discuss, the first show is Prison Break, I'm not going to say too much about that, go and look it up, but I want to talk about Six Feet Under, at the start I said this little instrumental reminds me of it, and the reason for it is at the end of Six Feet Under. The entire show is great, but the ending is is completely hands down the best ending I have ever seen to a season and to a TV show in general. It's very good guys and it almost had me in tears because it's that upsetting and it's that it's just so inspiring also. Very, very, very good and I really hope that all of you guys decide to check this one out. A lot of people is put off because there are some homosexual acts. The main actor Michael C. Hall from Daxter, this was his first big break on any TV show, any movies like that and he had to perform homosexual acts, he's not gay, keep that in mind. But they asked him to perform these acts, and a lot of people is put off by this, they don't really like seeing that kind of stuff, and if you're one of those people, wise the fuck up and watch it. It's a great show and do not let that shit put you off. I don't have a problem with that, every gay person can be gay, I'm not worried and it's a free world. So definitely guys, give Six Feet Under a watch, and I can guarantee you that not just the finale of the last season, but the complete show all in all is a very good show, there's some pretty inspiring scenes in it and for that I do really urge you to watch it but anyway guys I'm sure you can hear that in the background the rain has decided to come on and that is the end of the video hopefully you enjoy it and as always please leave a like rating I got 20 likes on my last two videos and that really means a lot along with 40 subscribers yesterday I can't really say how much that means to me guys 40 subs is a huge amount and I'm close to 200 subs now I may have 200 subs once I upload this but thanks again guys have a great day and peace